validation rules are custom built data integrity rules which prevents the user from entering invalid data the field validation rule in access validates the value that you enter in a field access checks data entered in a field when the user navigates to the next field if the input value breaks a validation rule the value is not accepted and access displays an error message field validation rule created on a existing table does not affect the existing records you can test the existing data against the rules to see if it is breaking any rules field validation message is a message displayed when the field input is not valid field validation rule can be created or modified in design view or data sheet view first let us create a field validation rule in design view open the table student in design view validation rule cannot be created on an auto number field in the field properties window you can enter the validation rule directly or use the expression builder validation rules can contain expressions or functions that return a single value you don't need to use the field in the expression unless it is a function try to create a rule to restrict the users from entering the age less than 9 select the field age in the validation rule box enter greater than or equal to 9 enter the message in validation text box age must be greater than or equal to 9 create a validation rule for gender select the field gender to open the expression builder first click in the validation rule box and then click on the little dotted icon at the end of the box expression builder window is opened you can enter an expression or create a complex expression using the expression builder enter the expression m or f This rule means you can enter only M or F in the gender field. Click on okay. Enter a validation message. Now try to save the table. Since the data integrity rules have changed, Access gives options to test the existing data before saving the table. No means save the table without testing the data and keep the new rule. Cancel, don't save the table. Yes, Access tests the existing data against the validation rules. If any existing data violates the new field validation rule, Access will give three options. Click on S. access test the rule on age field first since the table has some records which are breaking the rule access gives three options yes to keep the new rule and keep testing no revert to the old rule and continue testing cancel stop testing click on s access saves the new rule and continues testing for the gender rule The table has some records which break the new gender rule. Click on S to save the rule and table. To test the rules, open the table in data sheet. Field validation rule is applied when you enter data into the field. Enter 5 into the age field. and then try to leave the field error message is displayed access prevents you from leaving the current field until you enter valid data correct the data 
and test the gender field by entering a value A. Error message is displayed. Correct the data for the gender field. You can create or modify a field validation rule in datasheet view. Now let us modify a field validation rule in datasheet view. Open the table in datasheet view. Try to modify the rule for age. Select the field age. On the fields tab in the field validation group, click on validation. Now click on field validation rule. Expression builder window is opened. Modify the expression greater than or equal to 21. Click on OK to save the rule. Since the table has some records which violates this new rule, Access displays the same three options which we have seen before. Click on S to save the rule. Now add a validation message. On the fields tab in the field validation group, click on validation and click on field validation message. Modify the message the way you want. Click on OK to save the changes. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.